How's it going, everybody? Welcome to K6 Outdoors. My name's Kyle. Today, we got something a little fun here on the channel. We have an upgrade for the old shop. This is the King Electric KB2407-1 Eco 2S Plus electric heater. You see above me, it's little brother. And I guess we'll call this the big brother, if we will call it that. In this video, we're going to unbox this heater, see what's inside, um, compare what's the difference between the 2S, Eco 2S model I already have, and this Eco 2S Plus. And working with King Electric, I got this new Eco 2S Plus model to show you all. Um, it's gonna be replacing the Eco 2S up here above. I'll put here in the middle of the screen that specific product number um, and where you can pick that one up at, as well as above uh, a link to that video if you guys wanna see more detail on that heater. Great heater, by the way. Um, but in long story short, in this video, we're gonna compare what's the difference between these two heaters and then maybe why one could be more beneficial for you than the other. Anyways, to save you all and your sanity, I'm not gonna make you watch me open this box, and this heater's gonna appear right here. All right, now that I got the dirty work done, let's go ahead and look at this a little closer and see what this is all about. First hand, look at the two. Again, hopefully I can get the, the view here well so you can see it. I apologize about the backlighting outside. It's pretty bright. I'll try to adjust what I can for settings there. Um, but let's take a look at the two of them. First glance, they really look about the same. And you're wondering why would you do something it's the same heater? Well, obviously it's something a little different that we wouldn't be talking about in this video. Um, first thing I'll tell you, unboxing this, it felt different. Obviously they're using a different coating on this. This is a slightly a bit, a little bit more textured coating. Again, that could just be a change over time as they've changed their finishing. Um, this is more of a, you know, a smooth finish and this has a little bit more texture to it on this heater up here. Um, looking at the front, you'll see the designation of the 2S Plus versus the 2S up above. Um, again, that's going to give you a dead sign there that something is different. Um, they both feature, feature the adjustable louvers on the front. Um, again, you'll see them up there too. They are just stamped metal, so I don't think you're going to be adjusting these over and over again. Um, I don't think you're going to want to do that anyways. This is going to be one of those situations where you adjust it and you get it where you want it, and you probably don't touch it. If you cycle them back and forth too much, you may eventually see this metal break on the corners here as you're adjusting and flexing these around. Um, this features the same. Um, control inside for your two stage here, the low and high. Obviously, if you guys want to see more detail how this works, we're going to do that when we install it here. Uh, but again, the video above, I'll blink up here, is, the, is this specific model here if you want to see it running as of today. Um, but basically, what happens here on this is it, the heater senses how much, or it senses the temperature in the room and it automatically adjusts the wattage accordingly to how much power you need to heat it, uh, which is a nice benefited feature and helps you reduce your energy consumption. You know, the Eco, the name kind of alludes to that. Um, on the front here, it shows you a readout for the, it's a readout for the temperature, your fan, your timer, all that fun stuff. Your start stop mode button, that's the same on these two models. Um, it features the same high efficiency coil inside, same oil filled um, fan on the back there for the blower. Um, and really it's, for all intents and purposes, the same heater. Um, has the same bracket um, for putting on top of here, then your ceiling and or wall mount piece here on the side here. Um, again, I'll show you in another video, we'll be installing this heater and how it all works. Um, the, the remote is a little bit different. Let me grab the other one here quick. It has the same buttons on it. This is the new one. This is old busted, this is new hotness. They both work fine, they're remotes. Um, basically, the biggest difference here is the buttons are a little different. These are more of a, a click button. This is just a, a little softer button that you can see on a remote control in the house. Um, and they both come with holders for wall mounting and screws. So, that's a positive. What really sets this heater apart is its ability to integrate a thermostat. Right now, everything in this specific heater is controlled by the onboard thermostat. There is no option on the Eco 2S to convert to a thermostat. Um, King Electric did send me with the heater. They sent me one of their 80 series uh, non-programmable thermostats. Just a, a cheap guy to kind of show you what we're doing. Um, what's nice with this specific setup is you can integrate to any Nest controller you want or Ecobee like we have here at the house, which we'll probably do in the future. But I want to show you guys how this works in a specific video just using a, using a generic thermostat. That's one piece of the puzzle. The other piece that makes this unique is the addition of this little temperature sensor. It comes with a bracket and screws, um, and you can place it anywhere in the house. So what this does is it allows you to keep your area that you're working in at that optimal temperature. Say you're working over in the corner of the garage, and it's colder over there. You just take this sensor with you, set it next to you, and that heater's gonna run until it gets that part of the building at that temperature. Um, it may not seem like a huge deal, but if you're working right next to the heater, it may be, maybe you're too hot working there. So this will sense, hey, you know, it's warm up here by the heater, it's not gonna make you overheat. Or if you run across the garage, 
Um, it's cold over there. It's going to run until it gets warmer over there, which I think is a very, very neat feature. So um, that is the other big change. I mean, basically what it's doing is it's measuring the ambient temperature in the room and it's reporting back to the heater automatically and again, adjusting it. So you're staying at that temperature in your area, which is kind of nice. Um, and again, you know, when you're heating it, wherever the thermostat's at, it's where that temperature is going to be. And maybe if you're across the room, you want to make sure that part of the room is that temperature as well. So you could mount that over there as well. Just be careful when you're mounting this like a thermostat. You don't want to put it right next to a door or a window or some place where it could be drafty because it's going to read off and then it's obviously going to run more. It's going to run more because it's not getting the right temperature it's asking for. So keep in mind when you're placing this, I'll show you where I'm going to put it at in here. I'm going to put it over on the exterior wall by the workbench. And if I need to, I will move it to different parts of the shop where I'm working. So I'm super excited about that. So now that's basically everything that came in the box. Let's go ahead and tilt the signs back, open it up, and I'll show you what's different inside. Um, and then kind of go from there. All right, by removing the single Phillips drive on the bottom here, it allows you to open this bottom case and take a look inside. That lets you into the heart of the beast. Inside, you got the entire wiring diagram for how this thing's wired, um, as well as the rest of the controller. Um, this is going to look a little bit different than the inside of the other one. Um, again, when we're doing the installation, we'll, we'll kind of show you how we're doing here. And, Keep in mind, we're doing this installation that you need to make sure it's compliant with your electrical code in your area um, and to make sure things are ready for its application. Um, so you see down here, this is going to be your main cables running in for the heater. And then over here on the bottom, you're going to see there is a switch for on and off for using the external thermostat and the addition of extra points here to hook your thermostat wire onto. That is kind of the biggest difference in the secret sauce of this one that allows you to integrate that 12 volt external thermostat, which is super nice. Um, worst case, you don't want to use it. You just leave that back to off um, or turn the, sorry, turn the onboard thermostat back on and it will use that and function in that regard. So pretty simple inside. You see the wiring and the control board um, and all the stuff running out to the, you know, the power running out to run through the heater. And I'm, you know, this really does work really well. These are really nice heaters. So that's basically what makes this different. It's this external thermostat or temperature sensor that may be, and the ability to add the 24 volt external um, thermostat there. Uh, the nice part is you don't have to use the external thermostat to use this. This talks directly to this unit and um, allows you to do that. It really is a very smart heater and I, you know, I'm very impressed with how the Eco 2S works. Um, I mean, if it weren't be for, um, you know, working with King Electric to get this, I probably wouldn't be upgrading at this time. But, you know, it's a great to, to get some of this stuff because my goal here, again, is to learn some of this stuff the hard way so you guys don't have to. And maybe and maybe you all can learn something if this does work for you or not. Um, again, so really that's the biggest difference here is it's added technology, right? It's the same great heater. Uh, I think, you know, I mean, I'll have to go back and look at my electrical bills and give you an average on when I do the installation video. But, I mean, even we had a couple weeks where it was negative 25 degrees. Yeah, the heater's going to run a little bit more um, because we're out here in a garage where it's detached from the house. Uh, but I think that month, even even running negative 25 degrees, I don't think it cost me more than 65 bucks to keep the garage at 45 degrees where the uh, onboard thermostat lets you set it to. So I am quite pleased with it in that regard. And you know, I thought, hey, why not see if we can get something like this for you on the channel so you can see what it's like. This is a, I'm very impressed with the King Electric Heater. What's nice about it, again, like the videos you've seen before, if you haven't seen them, again, check those out is that these are made in the U.S. You're going to pay a little bit more money for being made in the U.S., but to me it's worth it, and I think it's a great way to support the folks here in the United States. Um, I know many people like the Chinese stuff because they're cheaper, but the ability for this one to adjust automatically with its high and low settings will save you some power because it's using less wattage uh, whenever it can to help you reduce your power consumption. And again, I'm quite pleased with my electrical bill. I, I couldn't really justify going to a gas furnace in that regard. So why would you want to use this heater over the other one? Well. The only way I would recommend you to upgrade to the Eco 2S Plus versus the Eco 2S is if you're looking to add that external um, thermostat feature and or want this, well, external thermostat feature of, you know, using a, a Nest or a, an Ecobee, um, or if you want to use, take advantage of this temperature sensor, which I think is going to be super handy because obviously when you're out in, out in the shop, it may not, it's not going to be um, consistent heater on the shop, you know, it's, it's just a heater blowing out. So. If you really want to stay warmer over there, hey, you take the thermostat with you, or you're working over here next to the heater, it's too hot, well, it's going to know that and adjust it, right? So I think that's a really added benefit to it there. Um, again, if you already own one of these heaters, unless you're looking to add the technology to it, I don't think there's any reason to do it. It's the same great heater otherwise. So um, now if you're in the market for a new one, 
I like to, you know, I like technology. I like to try to future-proof myself because you, know, you never know. The technology is advancing so much. Um, I like to be able to add as much technology on as I can. Um, and this is pretty robust technology. There's really nothing that's going to go wrong and let your heater not work. Worst case, you go back into the internal thermostat and use it in case something were to go wrong. Um, I wouldn't anticipate it. Or you just don't simply use this sensor. You don't have to use it, right? Um, again, I'll put links to King Electric's website where you can pick this up at, as well as links to some, uh, like for instance, Menards. It's a local chain of ours that does carry a local chain. It's a national chain, but you know it's not everywhere in the United States or the world. Um, add <coughs> I'll add links where you can find these heaters and some of that various stuff. Again, this is a 7,500 watt heater. It's a two stage, and I, I am just thrilled with how these things work. It's nice heat. It does a good job. Heats up the shop in no time. Um, again, this is a 24 by 24 garage with nine foot walls. I've got R13 in the walls, R30 in the ceiling, and an R8 garage door. And again, everything worked great all winter long. I couldn't be more pleased. I'd like to take a moment to thank King Electric for sending me this heater for the channel. I'm very appreciative of it, so it allows me to get you guys some content like this so you can um, understand, you know, is this for me or not? Um, and, I, and I, again, I really appreciate the fact that uh, they make things in the United States. Obviously, there's probably going to be some global components in this. But if you can find anything in the United States that's manufactured with multiple components on that larger scale, good luck finding something that isn't made internationally. Long story short, it's assembled, stamped, all that fun jazz here in Seattle, Washington. So let me know if you guys have any questions or comments. I'll be following up here soon with a video of installing this here in the garage. It's getting cooler outside. And we all know fall's on the way and soon winter, which I, I like colder weather. There's no bugs and no heat. Um, there's heat when you have this. Ah. Anyway, thanks again for stopping in today, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. That's the best thing you can do to help the channel out. If you're not a part of the YouTube family, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to see these videos, hit that bell so you get notifications when I post more videos. Um, and like I said, if you have any comments, put them down here below. I, I like all sorts of comments, positive, negative. If there's anything I can do to improve the channel, I'd appreciate it. Or if there's any product reviews you'd like to see me do or anything really in general you want to see me do, uh, leave comments below and I will do my best to do that for you all. Just remember, again, I'll put down below an Amazon affiliate link. Um, in case you order stuff through there, I do get a little kickback for the orders. Um, King Electric's website and Menards, where I picked up the original 2S. Um, I'm not sure what they all have in stock yet, but I will go ahead and post links to the various stuff so you can find it yourself and go from there. Thanks again for stopping into K6 Outdoors. My name is Kyle, and I'll catch you in the next one. I'll see you.